Don't nobody owe these niggas nothing. They stealing out of Walmart. I would have punched my son in his face when he got home. I would have punched him dead in his face. They would have had to lock me up. I wouldn't be defending nothing. I, they would have had to lock me up. You over in China stealing out of Walmart. Uh-uh. And he did. He went, He got them out of jail. I don't care if he went over there. I don't care if he went over there to get him a, a mail order bride. I don't care what he went over there for. Believe me, you probably want to say, like, no, 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 no. You wasn't listening. Yeah, he's an asshole. He made, he just made us look like fucking idiots. If he would have shook my hand, then then he did something for me. Oh, my God. So, anyway. <laughs> I'm back on another Tuesday with my engineer, St. Chris. It's always a pleasure to see him. Always a pleasure to be here at uh, Now nah, Fix Your Radio. Later on, I do have a guest that's going to stop by. Um... We're going to talk about this new clothing line, S. Dot, from the Mayhem web series. Just for a brief moment, I don't have any um, any guests that are going to come do long interviews today. I wish I could get uh, Shakira back. I wish she could come back and do Father was right for carrying on after Trump got his son out of jail. After, after who got out of jail? <laughs> oh, do I, do I think? Do you think that the father was right by saying Trump ain't do nothing for him after he oh, got nah, his son nah, out, nah, of, nah. out of jail in China? I disagree because it's like, like even though he wasn't agreeing with Trump, but uh, Trump still got his son out of jail. I, I, if he was going to get out of jail earlier, he would have got out of jail, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay. So I think the father should thank Trump, not for nothing. At <laughs> least be appreciative. Like, look, because your China would have slayed his ass. Okay, all right, so I got to hang up. I'm th- I thank you all for calling. We, you all definitely be up here soon. Okay? All right, y'all. I okay. appreciate you, all right? All right, thanks for calling. All right, all right have, a good, have a good night. You too. Said, why do so many of these OG rappers judge the new generation? They say we make drug user music like making drug selling music is better. What's the difference? What about the fact that rap is the number one genre? Genre? of music right now none of y'all acknowledge that artists been snorting cocaine and smoking crack since the 70s and 80s and did y'all fi- and did y'all forget that instead of judging how instead of judging how about y'all make a change if the message in the previous generation of rap was so good why did so many of our parents abandon us for crack why are we still killing each other? Don't use us as a scapegoat. Our music is a reflection of what's going on in our community, and all we're doing is using our talent to escape that community. And then T.I. weighed in and said, At 21 Savage, Lil Bro is speaking real truth, though. The fact of the matter is, there's been good, bad, great, media, mediocre artists and otherwise in, every, and otherwise in every generation, even ours, the 2000s. The founding era 80s and the golden era of the 90s, I guess, oh, comma, the founding era 80s and the golden era of the 90s. They're not the only generation to make user music either. Can anyone remember a little album called The Chronic? A little album, that's like one of the biggest albums. Okay, maybe he didn't mean it like that. Or hit records like Slip sipping on some sir- scissor <laughs> regardless of the subject matter this is daytime couldn't nobody tell us how to run ours or make us sound how they want how they thought we should live your life and do your stuff youngin just bear with us and try to understand your niggas kind of different and t- and take some getting used to as the elders got to understand their success justifies the change the numbers don't lie can't hate on that so you know, that was cool. You know, I'm at a different place in my life. And obviously, we're all supposed to grow. We, we're we all going through those changes that bring us to the other side. So when we get to the other side, we can't forget. There's a way to approach, you know, these situations with these girls. Because when we was a certain age, we didn't want to listen to what nobody said. And a lot of it was the approach. Certain people can get, you know, can get to you. It's like we all got to treat each other with respect, whether we agree with each other or not. And that's how you come at somebody. You don't judge them and put them down or look down on them for something that you did in in a different way, shape, or form. Okay. And we back on the We Right Now show. Thank you all for tuning in. I got a guest in the building, S. Dot Lane. Yes. <laughs> you, yes. You, yes. Might, you might know him. We in the building. You already, Elizabeth's finest. Yes. Um, I'm glad you came. I see you got a new clothing line, Hustle 365. Yes, we popping off with that. Um, 
how did that come about? You know, I mean, when you listen to it, it, it really means hustle 365 days, you know, a year. Yeah. And people, people listen to hustle and they think, oh, hustle. But hustling is going to work every day. Whatever you do to get money, that's hustling. Getting it how you get it. Get it, get how, it how you, you get live. It. That's right. Get it and how you live. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Some people do. They 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 misunderstand the word hustle. Right. They they right. really do. Um. So you just woke up one day and said, "I'm gonna start this." Or you always been into clothing, fashion? I mean, you no. Know, I'm a I'm a fashion guru type of dude. Okay. You know? And I just felt like I wanted to get my message across. Okay. Shout out to Elizabeth. Shout out to Elizabeth. Jersey in the building. He brought along a very beautiful young lady, Tasia. Actress. Rapper. Just actress. Okay. Singer. Nothing like that. Okay. All right. You were going to model the clothes? You <laughs> Listen, uh, they got a lot of auto tunes. They got a lot of engineers doing a lot of trickery. So don't worry trickery. about it. Absolutely. You guys. <laughs> and um, are you gonna model these clothes? Of course. Absolutely, that's what it's Okay, Absolutely. so are you not? I want them to go to your. I want them to make sure and go to your Instagram s dot s d o t l a n e. Yes. Facebook yes. s d o t l a n e. Same that's thing. Right. Check out these clothes. Check them he out. He got some. I mean, the color scheme and everything is good to look at. Oh, that's your sis right that's, there. That's you. Yeah. Okay, so that's not something that you wrote and directed. Nah, that's, that's Okay, well, shout sis. out to Tasia. What's the name of that? Her Little Secret. Her Little Secret. You can go on YouTube. But when I tried to watch the whole movie, it didn't play the movie. Oh, no, it's not the cheating. Okay. No, we just had a premiere for it in April. We're supposed to have another premiere for it, but it's being distributed right now. So well, make sure you tell me when it's going to be another premiere so I can uh, post it and talk about it. Because it looked like it's going to be good. Her little secret. Yes. It looked like it was going to be good. Yes, you, did you know what I mean? It's it good. makes you wonder. Yeah. Like, what's going to happen? How long you been acting? Uh, I've been doing this for about five years. Okay. Yeah, all right. And when did you start acting as that? I'm not really an actor, you know. You just got in mayhem. It was I, like. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got in it and, you know, I, I just started running with it. That's it. I'm going to just stick to acting. That's it? I mean, I'll just model clothes yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. Do some modeling. Yes, do yeah, some I mean, modeling. I used to do modeling, but you know, I'm going to just stick to acting for now. Okay. Well, I want to mention this. Hold it. I got to mention this, guys. I want to make sure I mention this. If you got any parties coming up, make sure you look up Bounce Party Mania, www.bouncepartymania, B-O-U-N-C-E-P-A-R-T-Y-M-A-N-I-A.com. 201-464-4741. They're located in New Jersey. They service the tri-state area. They have commercial grade bounce houses, indoor and outdoor. I know it's cold, but you could still use them right now. They got the lead photo booth with the red carpet, tents, tables, chairs for large events, intimate events. They have that 35 foot long radical run obstacle course. They got different packages, gold package, sunshine package, economy package. All kind of games, cotton candy machine, Dunkin' Machine, magic shows, face, fa face painting, and amazing balloons. Again, that's Bounce Party Mania, www.bouncepartymania.com, 201-464-4741. You can mention the code Vaughn number one for a discount. Like your friend. You Most know what? people don't have you know the what? friends that support. True story. Like, I didn't, you know, I didn't say, oh, my people's going to get this. I just did it. Let's see what happens. And... Mm -hmm. Truthfully, and they stepped most up. of my people's hit me like you know some good people. I need yeah. that. I need that. I need that. I need every color. I need. I'm that like, is a blessing. Yeah, that's you know love. How many people came in here that have like stores or clothing, and they was like, it ain't the they people that's closest from to from their own people, you. right? And, I got, and I you could, go into business thinking that a lot of people go into business. That, well, I know everybody. Everybody right. gonna rock with me. That right. ain't nothing nah, gonna that's, rock with that's you. That's never yeah. the case. But like I said, it was plain. Absolutely. Facebook. Tasia Brinson. B you want them on your Facebook? I -N -S -O -N. Okay, T A Y S H A. What's the last name? B R I N S O N. B R I N S O N. I'd like to thank them for coming by. Make sure you go to his page, inbox Thanks for him. having us. Yes, You're welcome. You. Uh, make sure y'all get the, three, the Hustle 365 apparel. Yes. Mm -hmm. Coming out of Elizabeth, New Jersey. Make sure y'all check out Mayhem, the web series on YouTube. It is dope. Yeah. And <laughs> next episode is uh Thanksgiving. Matter of fact, make sure you'll nice. make sure you'll be looking out for that. Until next week, thank you all for tuning in to the Week Right Now show. Okay.